Hello everyone. So for today's video, I have a very special guest and yeah. So and works as an OFW for 6 years. Yep. No off, right? Like continuous Working. OFW yeah. for 6 years. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask you what is your work and where? Yeah, I work in Saudi Arabia as a cook at the same time. My boss has a, a resort. Mm -hmm. So we have to prepare at the resort. We have to I, I have to work in my kitchen like that. So it's a tough work. Mm -hmm. And I have also a colleague, she's working on cleaning and everything. So we, we separate work duties. So mine is only cooking and yeah. I, I know how hard it is to work as an OFW and yeah. being being away from your family, from your kids. Yeah. So uh, why did you why did you work abroad rather than stay here in the Philippines to just to work and be with your family? What yeah. is the main reason? My main reason to work in overseas before because I just want to like moved on from my past with my ex-husband mm -hmm. and then at the same time to give my kids a good um, life that they don't suffer without having a good food in the table mm -hmm. a good yes. school yes. yeah so working in the Philippines is not that very you know there less job less people here yeah and uh, in my age at my age I, I am 37 I, I'm having a tough time we're um, finding a job at the mall because yeah. they have an age bracket. Oh, like, yes. Yeah, you have to be 18, 18 20 single, yes. and beautiful, you know? <laughs> like, what is this? Is this mis like a pageant kind of work, you know? Yeah, like the discrimination, right? Yeah. Here in the Philippines, you need to have experience too. Uh, you need to have experience to work. But as a person that have just graduated high school or college and or just have no education background you cannot work yeah anywhere if you don't have experience so yeah. how can you have experience if you cannot work yes and most of um like filipinas doesn't have education they just work mm -hmm. as housemaid yeah um even though those people that i mean filipino does have um educational background yes they choose also working as a helper in overseas i meet yeah, like yeah. i have a friend of mine she is a teacher of like a kinder teacher mm -hmm. but she choose to work as a housemaid because she can save more of her money compared to working in outside the house that she have to buy herself a food pay mm -hmm. your rent yeah it, it takes a lot of you know money also yeah. if you're there um, but if you're working at home as a helper she said to me she saved a lot more yeah. money and she can send more to the yes. philippines yeah so that's the reality here in the philippines yeah. and even if you are the most educated person people filipinos still choose to go abroad yeah. because the salary is much more bigger than here yeah so if if you are a doctor here you will go to the states and be a nurse or a janitor in the hospital yeah they go they go the that salary is just yeah, yeah. Uh, they went through like a uh, small job first before or be, because they go through uh, like going to australia canada they have to study back there because our yeah. education here is kind of like you know lower than yeah than other countries yes so, yeah you said you are in your late 30s and i want to ask about your love life okay <laughs> so mm -hmm. are you with someone yeah i'm with someone and where did you meet i meet him on jio subscriber i was not looking oh. that time but yeah um it just happened that i just broke up with my past boyfriend mm -hmm. and i don't want to touch that part he has um like you know i don't want to uh, make um like a comment on my past i just yeah. want to leave it so now um yeah he's he's a nice person he's a nice person and um to those like i'm going to share this to those uh, folks that um wanting to settle down in the philippines if they don't really 
um, financially capable to support their girlfriend. Mm -hmm. um, don't date a Filipina because, you know, I'm not saying that no money, no honey, because if you're dating a Filipina that she has a baggage, she has a kids to support, mm -hmm. she has, no, um, it, it's my situation. I'm not saying that most of us, but you know that if you're going to stop her from working, you have to be obligated to do something, to yeah, her. yeah, to help. And for me, as myself, I don't want to put a pressure in him because it's my job. I don't want to like, hey, give me this because my kids and like, I feel guilty. Honestly, I felt guilty to say mm -hmm. something. And yeah, which I would love to say that if you are not ready financially, you have to date a single Filipina that doesn't have a baggage. Okay. And yeah, because if you are going to date with a Filipina that like me, I have a kids, you are like, of course, if she has a problem, you will be also going through the same thing. You will be sad because, you know, you're not financially ready. You can't offer a help, you know. Yeah, yeah. So her, pro her problem, it's your problem as well. So same thing. Your problem, it's our problem. Mm -hmm, it's, yes. we, we, we feel that way because, you know, we can't listen to our partner's problem if they have, you know, something that, they keep thinking but for me I'm, I'm really shy to ask if I need help I'd rather go to my friends and say hey um, I'm really in a tough uh, situation at this moment can you but in my like I am in a dating situation right now so mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say that hey like I don't know what's going on ahead on us mm -hmm. so I just have to limit myself even yeah. though yeah yeah it's it's really hard to tell your future what's going on yeah so i'd rather say that if you're not ready you're going to date a single filipina yeah so if the man says that i cannot i cannot support you i can't support your child yeah and but you are like getting um getting intimate like jump into a relationship already so you have to reevaluate your decision yeah. Yeah. and broke up with you. you have i have in case if my boyfriend if will then. do like that because we have the sayings that we cannot die without a partner without a love we will die mm -hmm. if our kids doesn't have a food in the table so we have to choose our family because you know Oh, I'm not. I'm not saying that um, I, he needs to support my kids. I can work, mm -hmm. and um, we can both work both ways. He will, yeah. If he's there to like, if he's okay that I'm working, that's okay. If if it's not okay that I'm going to work, um, that's oh, yeah. the the plan that I'm going to separate with him because he doesn't allow me to work. Okay. And yeah, um, I'm like if. His partner is struggling about financially. He doesn't have to say, uh, don't, you don't have to work because, you know, she has the kids to support. Yeah. yeah. So the point here is if you are a single mom and you have a kid and he wants you to stay with him, yeah. with, a, with the family, he needs to support yeah. you yeah. and the kids. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, because um, honestly, it just take both a good conversation with a couple if what he wants. If he wants you, he will keep you. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with us. If we want them, if we if you give us 100% support, not just financially, emotional, we need that kind of strong man beside us. But, you know, as a Filipino, we are very shy to ask things that, mm -hmm. hey, I need money. Yeah, it's, it's your you know willingness to share your love we call okay. that love we don't say it financially it's too awkward <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah you're in your late 30s and you have a you are a single mom is it harder for you to find a potential mate or is it easier yeah. or yeah, um, for me because I'm very picky kind of person and then like, I just want to hit my head again because I'm scared to like choose the wrong uh, decision so yeah but it's part of life that you will get um, hurt you know yeah yeah I, I'm having a hard time to yeah to find 
I went to the dating site before but no one messaged me there. I'm having a hard time. I'm having a hard time because I have um, my LDR relationship way back before and we have a good chemistry together. So it's I'm having a hard time to like to match up. I, I don't like to compare but honestly we can say that okay he has a red flag and I have to wait on which this guy is going to be with me he's, he's doing his best like you know I don't want to compare but you know uh, you don't get what you want like yeah. there's also there's we, we, we are not perfect so you can get 100% perfect for your match so yeah it takes time for your for yeah, for so a relationship it's, it's hard for you to find a potential mate because you still i'm old <laughs> no it's not about being old i think you're still young and you look beautiful for your age. <laughs> i think the, the case here is that you have too much emotional baggage from your yeah, past yeah exactly so you, yeah if you have a new relationship you tend to compare your new relationship to your past relationships yeah, yeah. so i would say this don't get offended i am i think you should um move on first with your past and yeah just, exactly uh, accept your past experiences really and try not to compare your new relationship to your past thank you it's not something that you should do in a relationship yeah it will ruin your relationship yeah ex before i get into another relationship like way back with my ex-husband i was like physically abused and mentally so that's why i'm scared again mm -hmm. to like being in a serious relationship because i'm scared that i will be punched again you know like um i don't want to like i already have a trauma on my past so that's that makes me scared yeah again that's very <laughs> confidential topic but um, yeah. you don't have to experience that again i think if you experience those things mm -hmm. You are good with evaluating and evaluating people and see what they are and their patterns because you already know the patterns of uh, a psychopath <laughs> yeah, exactly. person or how yeah, yeah. Pe people who have red flags. Mm -hmm. so, the next question is, what is your plans in the future? Are you still going to work abroad or mm -hmm. you're going to stay here? Yeah, I like to work abroad again because I am financially safe. I mean, not stable. I am financially, um, I have my freedom mm -hmm. through my packet. I don't have to like to rely someone to, yes. you know. So I'm not having a hard time to support my family. And I started this YouTube thing again. I was like, oh, I, I'm, I'm going to waste my time again to, if I'm going to quit. And then... I don't know but i have to like wait my next decision again yes. i'm not sure yeah so yeah. we will see <laughs> let's see okay. yeah but my heart is like i want to work i want to work i think that's it that's my, all my questions <laughs> thank you for having you in, in your channel I, I finally i really <laughs> appreciate your effort as a mom <laughs> i know you did everything for your yeah. children thank you for being here in my channel and and i wish you good luck with your divorce in life i wish you success and good health always and thank safety. you so you have a youtube channel maybe yeah. you want to tell yeah, a little bit more about your youtube channel yeah my youtube channel is all about here in the Maggabi. i don't do anything like i'm not very active in my youtube right now because you know like i have to put more efforts doing my video and right now i just take it slow as i can mm -hmm. no rush at all yes. <laughs> so yeah what it comes i will accept if things are you know low i just let it go so yeah mm -hmm. thank you guys i know that everyone in your channel is also my friend so i do appreciate their you know support and comments so thank you so much thank Maya. you so guys that's the end of our video and if you do like this video please click the like button subscribe to my channel and press <laughs> the notification button so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a video see you see you next time in my vlog